Why is landing on the moon today more challenging than 50 years ago? The year 2024 marks the beginning of challenges for lunar exploration missions. The failure of the Peregrine robot and issues with the slim spacecraft, Japan, demonstrate that conquering the moon is no easy task. The path to the moon seems perilous, with many capitalizing on numerous recent failures to claim that past Apollo missions were merely media stories, entirely untrue. In reality, landing on the moon today is much more difficult than it was 50 years ago. Our satellite, the moon, has proven itself dangerous in recent years, with many missions failing during exploration. Here are some failed moon missions. SLIM, Japanese Space Agency, successfully landed on the moon, but the probe couldn't charge solar energy, rendering it inoperable. Peregrine, Astrobotic, USA, missed its appointment due to fuel leakage from the auxiliary engine. Luna 25, Russian space agency Roscosmos, 2023 The probe collided with the planetary surface after failing to follow the landing trajectory. Hakutoar, Espace, Japan, 2022 failed to land on the moon due to a software error. Chandrayaan 2, Isro, India, 2019 Unsuccessful moon landing due to a software glitch. Beersheet, Space IL, Israel, 2019 failed to land on the moon after an incident with the main engine. However, the moon is not inaccessible, as evidenced by successful landings from China's Chang'e 4, 5, and 6 missions, India's, Chandrayaan 3, and even the success of probes in the Artemis I mission, orbiting our satellite. Challenges in the landing process Russia and the United States are two superpowers that succeeded in some Apollo and Luna missions. They conducted missions on the moon starting from 1976 for Russia, the Soviet Union at the time, and 1972 for the United States. The moon programs of Russia and the U.S. were abruptly interrupted and forgotten for too long, so their heritage has been poorly preserved. Therefore, Russians and Americans have had to reinvent the wheel to return to the moon. The difficulty is particularly related to controlling the necessary thrust of the engines during the spacecraft landing process, which has always been very complex. Some documentation on this issue still exists, but those who worked on old programs are now retired or deceased. Large budget discrepancy. Landing on the moon is costly. Critics of the Apollo moon mission argue that the U.S. landed on the moon 50 years ago with only $25 billion. If adjusted for inflation, the budget from the Apollo moon program today amounts to $300 billion, nearly equivalent to the current budget of France. This is a huge figure compared to the estimated budget of the Artemis program, NASA, ranging from $25 to $50 billion. NASA cannot allocate additional funds for Artemis, so the agency has turned to the space industry to create a lunar economy by collaborating with SpaceX and Blue Origin. The goal is to help NASA develop a lunar lander and participate in the Commercial Lunar Payload Services, CLPS, program. NASA is also relying on these two companies to relearn how to land on the moon. Failure is not an option. Moon missions from the Apollo program in the past were incredibly daring. NASA struggled to ensure that all astronauts returned safely to Earth. Today, this essential mantra holds significant meaning in designing the missions and infrastructure of the Artemis program. Each spacecraft must provide enough redundant systems to ensure astronaut safety in case of an accident. This makes research more time-consuming and much more expensive. These are some reasons explaining why returning to the moon is taking longer than expected. Space agencies choose one thing, moon missions may be slow, but they must be successful.